I'm a weapon. No, a shield! Hey everybody, Genesis7 here with another SEGA Heroes video. And in today's video, we've got a lot to talk about. We're going to start off with update 2.0, which we got a couple of, I don't know, about a week ago. Um, as well as some other things. You may have seen a little bit of a teaser at the beginning of the video, but we are going to be seeing some Valkyrie Chronicles characters coming to Sega Heroes, starting off with Alyssa. So it will be very nice to see. So with that being said, let's kind of have a catch up. Let's see how we're all doing. We've got a lot of events going off at the moment. We've got guilds. So let's just kind of... Let's start off with guilds. Look, as you can see, I am in the Disco the Disco Heroes. <laughs> da, 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 da. No, we're in Discord Heroes. Um, we're all rocked, locked, and ready to go for the events that are going to be coming very soon. If you're wondering why they've implemented guilds and we've not seen anything to do with guilds, it's because they want to make sure that everything's right. Obviously, we had the numbers. It was just like um, multiplied by ridiculous amounts so there's nice to have all these things ironed out before the events play because i'm sure there would have been more complaints if we had guilds and on the very first day we had event event playing and everything was just going wrong because the numbers weren't right um connections weren't working and everything that they wanted to do wasn't working so it's nice to be able to get settled into a guild before these events roll around and like i said very soon so that's guilds in a nutshell really that's all we got that's, uh, that's all we got you can join a guild or you can make a guild for 5,000 gold simple as that go do it if you haven't already join your friends go over to the discord sega heroes discord i'll leave a link in the comment section below or you can go into your settings um and just hit the discord link it says join discord as you can see there and find yourself a guild so let's talk about events currently the time making this video um i'm probably gonna upload this on i'm recording this on a wednesday so we're gonna upload this on a thursday and um, we've got the fortune event i'm trying to hammer i'm gonna try i'm trying to keep in the top 50 here we're probably gonna go through a few rounds um to kind of you know even out the video because i need some gold because we're going to be rolling into um this dj professor k legendary event that's going to be coming up in four days three days at the time of this video and as you can see I just need to get my boy Axel and Omanisha get to the jobbers um, to seven stars. So I would like the gold to be able to do that because those two dudes, if we can have a look, where are they? He's locked, rocked, ready to go. And obviously Axel, I've just managed to get just the right amount of shards for him to be locked, rocked and ready to go as well. So that gold will help if I can if I get into the top 50. If we have a look at the the, the rewards, the prizes, top 50, 25k, not great amount, but we also get the uh, anywhere between a hundred thousand gold to a million gold um, randomly in this chest. So that'll be nice. Though even though probably falling into this may work out better unless you, unless it looks very horrible. So, maybe I should just stay in the between 51 and 100. Yeah, we'll just roll with it. We'll see what happens. But obviously, yeah, that event's going off at the moment. Um, we also have, coming up, as I've stated, Valkyria Chronicles are entering Sega Heroes. And we have an event coming up tomorrow, probably at the time you see this video, actually. It should be live. Where we have, what is it? Gall Gall Gallian Guardian. Um, for the chance to win some Alicia um, shards. It looks like that she is an epic character and obviously, as always, I'll have a character overview ready for that. Um, either, probably the day after you're seeing this video and then we'll probably have a DJ Professor K video on Monday um, to let you guys be aware of what those characters offer. So that's coming up very soon. Um, obviously, I'm going to be covering the guild events as they come. I'm um, probably going to do like a, like this, where you can see my face. I'm kind of live playing through it. Um, as it come, uh, as it is with my heroes at the moment, you can see my top team there. I've got my girl, Alice, and she'll forever be my yellow, unless anyone knocks her out of the park. Maybe Alyssa will do that. You know, might have a bit of a waifu battle here. Who knows? 
Um, we've got Rouge, just managed to get up to 8 stars. Beats on his way to 8 stars. Um, I'll probably invest in him after all these events have passed. Um, in hopes to get into 8 stars. Hotsuma from the, his legendary event has been awesome. Um, really helping me out um, in making arena and survival quite quite the easy blitz at the moment. Um, when it comes to Beyondering and campaign heroes, um, as you can see, Mimi didn't quite make the cut for the baby event to get um, her to seven, six stars. But uh, she is going to be a vital part to my campaign team going forward, so I'm still investing in her. Dr. Curian, he is going to be my backup, if not my main red for Beyondering. I just don't know if I can let go of Beat just yet, but I am starting to become a fan of Dr. Curian after doing all these events with him being amped. Um, become quite a fan of Rogan as well during these events, so I've leveled, it, leveled him up to 40 for this event. And yeah, I think that's about it for my heroes. Um, you can see who I've not really invested in. Um, a lot of you probably disappointed that I've not really invested time into Shadow, but... Oh hey ho oh, Shadow! Not on my team! Uh, I need to do a bit of farming actually, since I've got the energy for Beyondering campaign. Let's do that now actually. Let's see if we can get some Mimi shards. Let's have a look at that RNG for Mimi. Uh, find. And there we go. 45 energy. One! <laughs> so let's just get some more. Probably not going to see her. Nope, there's one. That's it. Just two shards. Man, she's so rare. She's so she, she's rare. Uh, who was I getting from camp? Let's might as well get some Sonic. Whoa, hey, whoa, whoa. Not catch of the day. Ease myself here. Um, let's go back over to Sonic. Let's get, let's just loot his stage there. Boom. Three shards. Slow and steadily getting there. So let's go over to this uh, Fortune event. Let's have a few rounds. Obviously the first couple. I usually get up to this one here. The 470 trophy one. Um, 820. Usually I have to really strategize to get past that. Um, not got past it yet. Maybe I'll have to give it a try. But let's just blitz through some of these rounds. Just to see how the, this team I'm using for this is going. So you can see I've got Kyurian, Hatsuma, Rouge and Rogan. Um, look at that, look at that tile set up right there. So if we go for that, look at that, boom. Um, I'm going to be causing some chaos there. Even though this is an easy round, that would have been awesome on one of the later ones. Um, there we go. Absolutely decimated. Might as well do that, look, boom. Oh, I meant to do the corner one there, but... I know, i, I seen it, I was going to go for the L, but I end up having the L for myself. I apologise. Um... See if we can redeem ourselves here. We might be able to. Ah, we could have. But it doesn't matter. It was one of the easier rounds. Right there. Um, so let's just go into this one. These stages are pretty straightforward. This is when you come to the looting of the, the latter of the event. So I don't know. I I'm, I'm don't know if I should stick in the top 50. Or if I should stay in the top 100 now. Um, man. Because it seems like if you're really lucky and you get the 100,000 out of each nine of those chests, that's just under a million. If you only open one chest, then you might not get the million in that one chest at the top. So, got a lot of decision making to do here. Don't know why I use that. Um, don't really need shield at this stage, but uh, it, it will help in the latter. It will help in the latter. But as you can see, I'm just blitzing through it. Let's do the fast forward a bit here. Um, let's just go for it. Let's get all these big combinations. What I love about making these kind of live Sega Heroes videos is uh, when I see your guys' comments saying, I can't believe that you've mi you missed this match. It's amazing when you watch people play match three games, all the opportunities that they miss um, when they're really like intense and they're like, oh man, I got this in the bag, man. I got this in the bag. And then you look through the comments and it's like, what at this this part of the video i missed this and then i have a look and i'm like oh man that could have been a game changer if i did that but don't comment that now i've missed anything these are easy stages don't do it don't do it <laughs> so we're gonna just kind of i'm probably gonna go to the 420 one and then we'll call it a day i don't want to keep you guys for too long 
main aim of the video is to talk about guilds, upcoming events, which is guild events. We're going to probably see them very soon. Um, I'm, my lips are sealed. <laughs> um, and obviously Valkyria Chronicles is the next set of characters which we'll be seeing as of today. So it'll be nice to do those character review videos. Um, uh, legendary event. Who knows who's going to be next after DJK? I mean, me myself, if it's Elise, I'm down with that. Um, but I think a lot of people... A lot of people, are they saying BDJ? I think they're expecting the fantasy to star either Lassic or Alice. So we'll just have to see what happens. Um, me, myself, if it's Elise, I'm, I'm down with that because my... My fantasy star characters, except Lassic, is uh, pretty on par. Ren's up there. Um, Rolf. I don't know where Rolf's at, actually. And I should imagine I I I'll have the red hero cover. Maybe with Beat. That would be nice. So we'll just have to see. I'm very excited about these events because they're events that will return. Um, gives you time to really kind of think, okay, well, I didn't get it this time. Maybe next time I will make sure I am fully prepared. So let's blitz with this, get some combos going here. Look at that, boom. Uh, do that. Uh, um, you, you'll really like some of the attacks of Alicia. I think she's going to be definitely a character to be interested in. Um, again, you'll, you'll see that coming in the character overview video. Um, I really like those character overview videos. They're nice, nice and short and to the point. Um, nice visually pleasing videos. They've been well received. You guys have been great hammering those like button um, and sharing it around on social media, which has been awesome. So those will forever be part of the channel um, as, as far as characters that we get um i'm just waiting for alex kid i just want alex kid that's all i want that's all i want man i want alex kid so let's zoom through this not really going for any strategy here because i'm gonna get through it easily it's probably when i get to that 420 stage that we'll probably get a bit more tactics on the go but tell me uh, what you've been thinking about these events are you excited to see what guilds has to offer um, Valkyrie Chronicles, are you happy about that? I think it's nice to see a franchise like that. Um, gives me hopes for franchises like Yakuza, Skies of Arcadia. Um, I really think there should be like a Sega All-Stars team. Do you know where you don't have to stick to a specific game and kind of like pick the best out of a couple of games? So for example, Alex Kidd, Ula La from Space Channel 5. Uh, Rye Star, maybe, um, and who else? Upper Up, Upper Upper from Fantasy Zone. I don't know. <laughs> just, a, just a random team of all stars of well-known Sega characters, um, of which nobody really knows much about the um, the side characters, if there is any. So here we go, this is the 470. I've been saying 420 throughout the whole video, but it's 470. So what we're going to do is we're going to take down the signal first because we don't want it targeting everyone. We'll get growth on Rogan and we'll go for the double attack here. That critical. Boom, boom, done. Let's get rid of Gina next because she might be a threat. Can't really do anything. Hotsuma, what are you doing to me, friend? Uh, let's get a rally going here. Nice little combo. Obviously was planned. It really was. Uh, where are we going to go next? Where are we going to go? I know you guys are commenting that you can see a really good like match, but... I've got it. There we go. Gina's health is just not going down right now. Right, let's use uh, Bioreactor. Do we use Curian's Max? Let's do it. Let's have a bit of a shuffle. If we've got anything to play with here, yeah, I think going down there. Do that, bit of bread. Come on, Gina, you need to go down, girl. You need to go down. Uh, let's go for Rogan to finish him, finish her off. Uh, 
for rouge. Dodge. Ugh. Ugh. There we go. So we're going to go take out Axel straight away with the empty clip. Ooh, I thought it was going to do more there, but maybe I should have had bro. Maybe I should have done that first. Maybe, yeah, I should have. So we'll do that. There we go. Let's get rid of the signal next. Uchika's blade should do a bit more damage because of the growth that someone has got. There go. Boom, boom, boom. Get rid of the caterpillar before it starts growing. And this, this buzz bomber, drains all mana. Imagine if we get a character that drains all mana. That's going to be a game changer in Arena. I tell you that. And then we'll go for that. Boom. Dun, dun, dusted. So there we go. I just wanted to have kind of a chat with you guys, a bit of catch up. Um, it's nice um, between these character overview videos and these kind of showcase videos to kind of just let you know how I'm doing as a player. So uh, rank 49, I'm really debating where I should probably fall here. Um, I know that they've been dis discussing it on the Discord of maybe it's probably better if you're in the top 100 instead of the top 50. But we'll see. Regardless, it's all about some gold. Need the gold to get my Axel and Amishima up to seven stars ready for the DJK event. So there we go. I think that's about everything. Anything that I've missed or anything you guys want to discuss, please let me know in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. Smash the like button if you haven't already. And if you haven't subscribed, it's down there. If you like what you see, do it, do it, do it. And until next time. I'll catch you on the flip side.